If you aim at purity in your actions, your actions can be long term, and the longevity of your action taking brings you true skill. And that skillfulness is what brings you results. There's this quote that I love from Mahatma Gandhi, and I want to share it with you. And, and then I want to apply this to your marketing. And the quote goes like this, always aim at complete harmony of thought and word and deed. Always aim at purifying your thoughts and everything will be well. So the way I apply that to marketing is, have you ever been creating some content and you're like, well, I, I, I'm going to create content now and I'm going to have to like talk about my services or my programs somewhere in this piece of content so that they'll know about it. Maybe they'll want to hire me or, or work with me or, and it instantly becomes a chore. It instantly becomes a corruption of what was originally an act of generosity. In business, I should say in marketing, there are essentially in all of us here, I'm assuming if you are a solopreneur, if you are, do you have services to sell? Do you have programs that people can enroll in? Well, you know that you have to do marketing, right? <laughs> I, hope, I hope someone told you it doesn't just kind of randomly happen usually. So your marketing has essentially two arms. Think of it as like a bird and flying with two wings. One wing is content and the other wing is selling. Okay, so, and those two wings have to be balanced. If you don't have those two wings, then, you know, <laughs> the bird's going to crash. So content on the one hand, and both of them, by the way, that the point of this video is both of them can be done with purity of intent. And this is usually not what you hear and what you learn elsewhere in marketing. Let me explain. When you learn how to do content marketing, there is immediately a corruption of intent when they tell you, oh yeah, you're gonna do great content, but you gotta weave in talking about your services and your programs. And I, whenever I see those posts, I just get, I just, you know, hold my forehead and I'm like, no, you don't have to do that because, and it doesn't feel right. I don't trust you anymore. You're, I'm starting to read this wonderful story from you. I'm starting to listen to this wonderful video. It's kind of like suddenly right now you're, you think I'm going to share something out of my heart with you. And then suddenly said, and this is why everyone, you should hire me, George Cow, to tell you, to, to teach you how to, you know, create great content. And that's, I'm so glad you're, it, it immediate, it's bait and switch is what it is. But so many of you are learning this. Where are you learning it from? I'm really curious. No, don't, don't, don't uh, out anybody by name, right? But that's how much of content marketing is taught. It's like you got to like weasel in your, your selling stuff in the middle of your content. Like tell a great story and then sell something. It's gross. It's unnecessary. Because I'll tell you what happens is it takes you right out of your heart. And therefore, it is you cannot have the longevity of action that I've been able to have. I can say this now because I've been full-time 14 years of doing this business, 14 years. And most of the peers that started with me 14 years ago are no longer around. They're no longer doing their business. And, you know, for multiple reasons, but I think one of the deep reasons is they always felt this con conflict in their conscience when they're doing their marketing. It's like, it's always like not really generous in their content because it's always trying to sell something. And on the other hand, some people, maybe you, I don't know, don't do enough pure authentic selling. Like you have to balance these two wings. You, you sure you share what is content for if not selling content in my, in my definition, in my opinion, creating content is for two reasons. It's to grow yourself and it's to grow. It's to serve your audience. It's to serve the world, regardless of whether they ever buy from you. The weirdest thing to hear a business coach tell you don't have any profit motive when you're doing content, but that's true. That's what I try to do. I hope, you know, I'm, when I'm sharing this, I hope it's out of a pure heart and I don't care if any of you ever buy anything from me or join my email list or visit my, but honestly, that's, it has to be like that kind of surrendering when I, 
otherwise is not authentic content. Okay. So content as is, is a practice of it. It's, it doesn't come naturally because we're also tied and attached to all well, the fears of paying the bills and you gotta, you gotta make money. So you gotta like try to weave in some selling into your content. No, 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 no. Try to set that aside. That's a practice of content generosity. Okay. On the one hand, and on the other hand, you have to sell too. Some of you don't do that enough. You notice I sell on a regular basis every Wednesday. Uh, those of you who can check out my Facebook business page, you don't have to on Instagram, on YouTube. I, I try everywhere I am several Wednesdays per month. Wednesday is my selling day. Just so you know, if you want to go see how I sell, uh, on other days I do content, you know, not every day, but most other days, but Wednesdays I don't do content. I sell to you. Why should you be ashamed of selling? Let me ask you that. Well, it's maybe because you've learned how to sell grossly. You've learned how to sell with pushiness and with tactics that feel weird that you wouldn't treat your friends with these kinds of tactics. But I tell you, and I hopefully show you how to sell with authenticity and with purity of heart. So I'm not, are you ashamed of your services? I, I don't, <laughs> I hope not. I think you believe in your services. It heals people. It uplifts people. It helps transform the world positively, does it not? Then you should be proud of your services and you should be proud of how you sell. And you should do selling on a regular basis. Like I said, every Wednesday, not every Wednesday, but most Wednesdays, I do some kind of selling. So therefore, when I sell and when you sell, I recommend that you do it out of a pure heart. How do you sell with a profit motive out of a pure heart? Well, it's because you believe in your services. Do you not? Don't you believe that the right person would be better off in their life, the right person would be better off in their life if they decide to use your services or to join your programs or to buy your product. Isn't that true? Do you believe that? If you believe that, then why wouldn't you make the offer to the audience who has some of those right people in your audience? The person who's right will look at, you know, they're scrolling their social media and then they'll see you and they'll, oh, I like this person. I've seen their content generosity. Oh, they're offering something that I've been thinking about, that I've been curious about, that I've been wanting to learn more about, that I've been wanting to work on in my life or whatever. Let me go check it out. That's the purity of selling leads to the purity of response. So anyway, I, I need to get, get going here, but I hope this is helpful. I hope this transforms, helps us transform your mindset about what marketing is. It can be done with a pure heart and therefore, therefore, you could have the longevity of doing so-called marketing that allows you to really get good at it, allows you to still be here 14 years later, like I'm here, you know, and therefore I've gotten really good at it because I just keep doing it. How do I keep doing it? Because I, I feel the joy of it because of the purity of heart, purity of expression. I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching.